So I've really kind of laid this pot out, laid it down, and I'm starting to match up pretty well this contour. It's going to be pretty difficult to lay down this part onto here, and I may find that I'll have to cut off a section, remove this clay, but but really it's not like it's it's not a loss. This this clay right here is helping hold all this together right now. And I'm just gonna let this set up some more and then I'm gonna cut off a section of this clay after I've smoothed even some more down. I mean you can see you can just keep on going around and match up against that template, right? It's amazing how you can stretch this, this clay. Keep on going around, keep stretching it out if you want to get really precise. Some clays stretch better than others. You can also use this template just kind of to decoratively match with this, with, with the template, your clay with the template. You don't have to go around precisely and hit every spot. You could do this, say, on like five or six different areas, and then you would come up with a very interesting shape that's not circular. And it's definitely something that could only achieve through hand building. So with this form, my foot is, is pretty far in. And this overhang, you know, I, I had to do this to, to match the contour I wanted. But it's a little bit troubling to me. There's a lot of overhang here. This clay is still a little bit moist. And it's, I'm afraid that it's going to go from this to, to that and just collapse. So what I could just do, if I'm afraid of that, is take a little clay support and just pinch that, pinch it right into place. Anywhere I feel like that is really wanting to flop over. And then later on I can just kind of cut that away, remove it, and I'm not going to have too many issues. Maybe I see that happening over here. Let's wedge it right under there and support my clay. So I can see my template is starting to really match up with my piece, but I still need to get that top edge just a little bit out more. I need to move this out. So I can do with my fingers Kind of the opposite of what I would be doing if I wanted to move the clay up and push it in and I can instead kind of stretch this top rim out a little bit but I'm gonna have to go around and around in a circle it's gonna take some time and doing but uh, it's possible if I were to just push here it's gonna just keep on distorting in this area uh, it's not like down here. Down here I can just kind of move this clay gradually and have it meet up, but up at the top I'm going to have to do something a little bit different and I'll show you kind of what that's going to look like. So normally I would move the clay up by pinching and pushing together. I'm going to instead just kind of like gently pull, pull the clay out and turn it pull the clay out a little bit. This is just a really gentle process and uh, it's gonna take a little time, but you can stretch, you're actually stretching this clay out and moving it in, to the outward plane a little bit more. So instead of cutting off that excess clay like I mentioned before, I can instead flare it out using this technique. So I'm compressing and pulling it, compressing, pulling it and just kind of bending it out ever so slightly. If I do it too much, you can see this whole thing is going to distort. I can only do that just a little bit at a time. And pretty soon it's going to match 
much better with my template. 